welcome back to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. In today's tutorial I'm making this Betsy cowl. Uh, if you saw my previous video on the Betsy Bow ear warmer, I've made the cowl to match it so as a set or you can still wear them individually but this just follow on from that video so if you want to see how to make this lovely snug cosy Betsy cowl all you need for this tutorial aid is a six millimeter crochet hook and some iron weight yarn so if you'd like to follow along with me in this tutorial and make this lovely cosy quite easy and quick to make uh, Betsy Cowell, then I shall see you back here very soon. So for this tutorial we're going to be using a 6mm crochet hook. Uh, you need some darning needles to sew in your ends at the end, uh, perhaps some stitch markers if it helps you to identify your stitches at the end of each row, but not necessary. Uh, scissors to cut your yarn, a tape measure to measure the finished uh, cowl when we got to the end and I'm going to be using Stylecraft Special Aran Yarn this is in the sage colour which matches the Betsy Bow ear warmer that I did in the previous video so I'm going to be making this to actually match that Betsy Bow ear warmer which is here just a quick reminder of the Betsy Bow in the sage green and I'm going to be doing this, the cowl in today's tutorial to match this and then I'm going to give it as a gift for Christmas so that's the reason why I'm using the sage green again but you can use any colour yarn in the iron weight for this tutorial so I'll just pop that to one side so to start off we're going to begin with uh, a chain so we just need to make our slip stitch and you make that in ever which way you find comfortable to do And we're going to chain 78. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And we're going to continue along until we've got 78 chains. So if you want to pause the video, I shall see you when you get to 78 chains. So you should have 78 chains now on your hook, like so. And we're not going to slip stitch on this first round. So what we're going to do, we are going to chain one more. So we now have 79. And we're going to go down into the second chain from our hook and do a double crochet. Now I'm working in UK terms, so if you're watching from the US, a double crochet will be single crochet. So there's our first double crochet and we're going to insert our hook into the next chain. And double crochet. And we're going to do this all the way along. Double crochet. All the way along. So if you want to work your way all the way along and I shall see you somewhere near the end. So if you want to pause the video, work double crochets all the way along and I shall see you somewhere about here. So hopefully you've got to the end okay. I've got two more to do. So insert my hook, double crochet into that last one there. Double crochet and we're now going to join this together so we need to make sure it's not twisted when we join it so the best way I find to do it is to run your finger all the way down so it doesn't twist keeping it straight like so and we know that's not twisted now and we're going to insert our hook into that very first V shape there the very first stitch that we did 
insert our hook into there like so and slip stitch it closed and this gap here we will stitch up at the end I find doing it this way is much neater so it was stitched up at the end and you won't even notice that so that's the beginning of the cowl now so if you just want to make sure that it definitely isn't twisted before we continue on so just go work all the way around and you'll know if it's twisted because you'd, it would be twisted in your fingers and no this is we're good to go good to go so providing that yours isn't twisted if it is twisted now is the time to just take your hook back out and make sure it's straightened and then reinsert your hook and slip stitch to form the ring and you should still have 78 stitches on your hook so the next row it's really simple cowl four pattern repeat so we're going to go on to row two so we're just going to chain one and this does not count as a stitch and we're going to go down into that first stitch and work a double crochet And we're going to go down into the next one again with a double crochet, down into the next and we're going to work all the way along with double crochet. So it's down into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through and we're going to work all the way along so if you want to pause the video again work your way along this row and I shall see you somewhere near the end and then we'll go from there so I've got one more double crochet to go for this row I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that very first double crochet that we did and that's row two now for row three we're going to turn our work and we're only going to turn our work when we do the bobble stitch row um, because obviously we not we need the bobble to show up on the right side so for the bobble to show up on the right side we have to work from the back so for, for the next row we're going to turn our work so we're just going to chain one and turn our work and then down into that very first stitch we're going to do a double crochet and then we're going to work our bobble stitch and the bobble stitch is going to be three incomplete trebles or three incomplete double crochets if you're watching from the US so yarn over down into the next stitch yarn over pull through pull through two yarn over down again again and one more time and you should be left with four stitches on your hook yarn over pull through all four and then down to the next with a double crochet and hopefully your bobble should be showing through on the right side so we're going to repeat that again so bobble stitch which is three incomplete trebles yarn over and pull through all four down into the next with a double crochet do that once more incomplete trebles so that's three incomplete trebles into this stitch four loops on our hook yarn over and pull through down into the next with a double crochet and there you go there's your bobbles showing through on the other side so we're going to repeat this all the way along so we're going to be doing a bobble followed by double crochet bobble double crochet bobble double crochet all the way along and you should finish off with a bobble as your last stitch so if you want to work all the way around and I shall see you somewhere around about here and we'll go from there to finish off row three so I've just got two more stitches to work so just 
going to go do a double crochet and finish off with our last bobble so hopefully if you're under your last stitch it should be a bobble and we're just going to slip stitch to the top of our first double crochet just to complete that round and that's our round of bobbles so it's only for that round the bobble round that we're going to turn the work and have the work the back of the work facing us so for the following next three rounds we're going to chain one we're going to turn and we're going to stay with the front of the work facing us so it's just the bobble round that you chain one and turn and have the work the back of the work facing you just saw the bobbles show through onto the right side so the chain one doesn't count as a stitch throughout this tutorial so we're going to go down into that first stitch and do double crochet and then we're just going to work double crochet all the way along now if you're finding it hard to find where to insert your hook all you do is just tilt tilt the work and you should be able to see the V stitches along the top so you'll have a, a bigger v-stitch where the bobble was, a smaller one from the double crochet so you should be able to see them and you're just going to insert your hook into these stitches and work all the way along with double crochet so if you do find you can't quite see where you're inserting your hook just tilt your work like so and you're picking up both of those V's on your stitch and double crochet pick up both of them like so and just double check that you have 78 stitches at the end of each row so we're just going to work all the way along with double crochet So if you want to continue working double crochet all the way along into every stitch I want to pause the video and I shall see you somewhere near the end of this row. So I've got to the end of my row and I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet like so. Row 4 complete and we're going to work row 5 and 6 in exactly the same way. So it's going to be chain 1, insert your hook down to that very first stitch, double crochet and double crochet all the way along. And then when we finish this row we'll slip stitch and we'll then work row 6 exactly the same, chain 1 and double crochet all the way along so we're going to work row 5 and row 6 double crochet all the way along, slip stitch when you get to the end of row 5 chain 1, into the same stitch, work double crochet and then double crochet all the way around to complete row 6 so that's rows 5 and 6 double crochet all the way along so if you want to complete rows five and six and I shall see you somewhere towards the end here on round six so I'm now at the end of row six just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet like so and that completes row six so all we're going to do now for the rest of this cowl is repeat rows three four five and six so the next row we're going to turn our work and work the bobble row and then the following three rows is three rows of double crochet and it's as easy peasy as that a quick reminder we're just going to chain one and turn only for the bobble row and work our bobble rows all the way along so it's double crochet into the first stitch then bobble into next which is three incomplete trebles then double crochet into the next all the way around slip stitch to close then chain one and turn 
and then we're just going to work three rows of double crochet all the way along and we're going to repeat those rows rows three four five and six until our work measures approximately 10 inches deep so if you want to continue on working rows three four five and six and I shall see you somewhere near the end when we're about 10 inches and we'll go from there and I'll show you how to finish off this easy peasy Betsy cowl. So I'm just about near enough to 10 inches now so I'll just quickly show you my measurement. So 10 inches. So for the last few rows we're just going to finish off just so we even out and we finish off with two rows of double crochet to match the, the first two rows. So whatever you are in your 10 inches you may have finished with maybe one more row or one row less. Uh, it is, it's not vital that it's got to be spot on for 10 inches. Um, so obviously I've got to 10 inches and I've just finished off with my bobble row. So I'm now going to finish off with two rows of double crochet and that just evens it out to match the first two rows. So if you want to continue on and finish off with the last two rows um, and I shall see you when we get to the end. So I've just got a few more double crochets to finish off this last row. As I say it's not vital that your work is 10 inches. Everybody's tension is slightly different so you just work to near enough your 10 inch mark and obviously try to finish off with two double crochet, two rows of double crochet just so that it equals the first two rows that we did. So I'll just come to the last one now and just slip stitch it closed. Trim your yarn and just pull it through to fasten off. And I'm just going to quickly sew in our ends. show you how we tidy up the bottom. If you remember we didn't um, join to form a ring at the very beginning. We turned our work and we're left with this section here and all you need to do and all you do is obviously put your thread on your needle and just work your needle along to where you started and it just cinches it in like so and then we're just going to work over a few times just to secure it like so And there we go, a lovely neat edge. So that is our Betsy cowl. Called it the Betsy cowl because obviously the Betsy Betsy bow ear warmer. So as a set, I just called it the Betsy cowl. Easy as that, and obviously you can work with any arum weight yarn, six millimeter hook and any colour of your choice and these work really quick, make brilliant gifts too and perfect for the winter, pop it over your head and keeps your neck lovely snug and warm and stylish too. Well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on making this uh, Betsy cowl, I hope you found it fairly easy to make and once you've made one I'm sure you'll want to make lots more, they make absolutely brilliant gifts and obviously we're in November now 
perfect Christmas gifts as well and obviously you can make them in all different colours and complement your coats, complement what you're wearing and uh, as I say really quick to make and because we're using a 6mm hook and arrow weight yarn they're lovely, lovely and thick and warm and really are cosy around your neck and obviously you can wear them higher up or folded down but they really do keep all your neck lovely snug and warm and quite stylish and obviously you could wear it also too to match the Betsy Bow ear warmer. If you did like this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and there is a little bell you can uh, click which also keeps you up to date with all the videos that I bring out. I'm hoping to make a matching set of uh, wrist hand warmers to go with this set so we will have a full set which will make absolutely brilliant gifts for Christmas obviously gift giving ideas so hopefully I shall be with you with that tutorial very soon. There is a PDF pattern for the Betsy cowl which I shall put in the box below if you prefer to print that off you can download that from my Etsy store where you can also get the PDF pattern for the Betsy Bow ear warmer if you're interested in that too but until the next time as I always say practice makes perfect please take care and happy crochet mm -hmm.